Welcome to the Dave Factor. I'm Dave, and um, we're back with Call of Cthulhu. Pearson Officer Bradley followed the intruder to the secret meeting place of a cult set in a network of underground caves right under the Hawkins Manor. They witnessed a strange ceremony led by Charles Hawkins, very much alive. Bradley tried to arrest him, but Hawkins, whose body displayed various mutations, disemboweled the police officer. As he tried to escape from him, Pierce found himself a prisoner of a rock fall. Rushed to the Riverside Institute, he is in a critical state. And let's see how far back we go. I'm glad you guys didn't miss this. His arm looks like it's kind of mangled. He's having a seizure. He will survive. A strong subject. There, he's opening his eyes. I say he's been pulling. I, I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> See what I mean? What did you do to me? Undo these straps! Whoa! Go easy, my friend. You were dead. Yeah, Bradley he should be you. dead. Are you sure he's better? He was... He was dead. Me too, we, we were dead! What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No! What happened to me? Where am I? In a straitjacket in a padded cell. Mr. Sanders, you have to come with us. <clears throat> no, please. I can't leave here. You got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. You don't understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no! You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me. Okay. <laughs> this foul gas again. Nighty night time. I do not like this slam right into their dreams. They over their maps in the wake of my Okay. Right. I just don't get the limp. When the last of them rises up. 
What are we choosing now? I will not be here to bear witness to it because you will have released me. But the earth will resound to your cries or theirs. No. That's not a thing you should wake up. You there. Wake up. Come on, stand up. We don't have much time. And a new character is introduced to the game. Can you stand up? Who are you? I am. A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive? I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible. And as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Uh, wait a minute. Ooh. Do I only get one question? What's going on here? What do they do to the patients to make them so terrified? I would really like to know. I only see them when they are brought up for medical treatment. For problems they didn't have before going downstairs. But this is neither the time nor the place to talk about that. We must not stay here. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them and get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. Yeah, I only got one question. Hope I asked the right one. What does this mean? Forgot about the blinding Sherlocky reconstructions that he runs. Sarah. Am I in an asylum? You didn't have to be a detective to sort that out. What did they inject him with? In his eyes, this symbol must have some protective virtues. The paintings are cursed. What did he write about the painting? Uh, he wrote the paintings are cursed. How he did it blind is a neat feat, too. He sees everything. What am I looking for now? We saw Sarah. What was he using to draw this with? Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. <laughs> right, well, we got a new clue. If I don't get out of here, I'll end up like him. I don't want to let him out. <laughs> Poor wretch. My oh wait, there's a door. Doctor Colden, I would like to say that I'm surprised to see you, but we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. I don't understand. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if... Go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. As for you, gentlemen, do not disappoint me anymore. No one enters or leaves. Yes, Doctor. Well, they're going to have to disappoint you because I need to get out of here. White marker appears. Damn it. I'll have to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. 
Yeah. High voltage. Oh, well, I, it's a closet to hide in. Right. Okay. He doesn't like tight spaces. That's right. He starts getting all panic attacky. Create a diversion. The machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valve. As you want. I'm gonna see if there are sleeping pills left. They've run out again upstairs. Put a few aside for me, will ya? And above all... Good God. What could this machine be used for? Electroshock therapy? What's this? Gouged out his own eyes in delirium. I think no. It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. Have I activated anything? I don't know. It's hard to see the cords on the ground. Oh, duh. Don't I have one of these lighters? Yeah, the meter looks like it's running. This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. Okay, so there's four colors. Gotta get all the colors running. What's this one? I can still increase the load. Okay. So get them all running and then flip the switch. Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? Uh, just a guess. It probably friggin' killed him. The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? Why is he dismembering people? I don't want to give away my position too much. Okay. What? This cord goes this way. So I'm not, oh, wait. Okay, it runs. Where are you taking me, cord? Runs through there. Don't want to get seen by those guards, so. Is there anything in here? Well, we got our medicine up. Control wheel to mount on a plumbing system. Neato. You know, I'm pretty sure if I just set something on fire, that would be a pretty good distraction. Cord goes past that door to here. It's locked. Of course it is. Why does anything have to be easy? Let's make it as hard as we can. This. Last week's incident caused significant damage to the infrastructure, putting a stop to current experiments. This is unacceptable. From now on, the wheels to operate the gas stopcocks must be kept in the storage room after each use. Keep the register up to date. Right. Storage room has... The, the green gas valves. leaves from here, and it runs through the whole building. But what's behind the locked door? Please tell me it's high enough to pick the lock. Perfect. No, 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 no. Too much light. Too much light. Too much light is bad. There we go. Here's a switch. It's done. Now for the others.
This valve controls the pressure. I don't know if that's a good thing that I'm doing. Now for the next step. Why isn't that one going down? What the? All right, so confusing to me. Repair your machine as best I can. However, the piping has been damaged and I fear that gas is escaping. I cannot do any more in such short time. All I can do is warn you if the equipment is put under too much pressure, there's a risk of an explosion. Okay, so we want them all to go up high. A duct. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. Is that... Okay. Let's get this going. Get that one going. Let's see what happens. Is it how is the pressure high enough? Am I missing something? That's up high, that's up high. Right. Well, anything being held together by duct tape isn't going to last long anyway. We need to find that next cord. Well, maybe an explosion will do the trick. I could get the pipes to explode anyway. You tell him, dude. Wait, yeah. We need to look at the back. Yellow and red. Can we get to yellow this easy? Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. Yeah, but the question is, do I? Which way is that guard roving? Just around, or is he double back? Oh, he went around. He went around. He went around. Inside me, I feel it in my head and in my body. He roars. I need to figure out how to get past that one guard. It has strength of oceans. Get me out. If sleep. I do not stop, he does not catch me. If he does not catch me, I do not sleep. You guys sound insane. You, yeah, you there. I don't know what you're doing there, but you don't seem to be friends with the nurses. I can help you. Help me, and I'll owe you one. I don't... well... There's gotta be another way past that guy. Oh gosh, there's a guy right there. You. Okay, yeah, look, you I'll did. see what you have. What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here. Except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah. And in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. 
You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. Yeah, I won't promise anything. Or it's a deal. Yeah, if I could find them the sleeping pills, it'd be a sure deal. But will they put me in a worse spot? Uh, I'll find you some pills. Go look in the storage room. There must be sleeping pills there. Also, if I told him no, I wonder if he would have made my life harder. Oh, I just went... Oh, jeez. Why is that a thing? Exactly what I need. What is... <sighs> the key... Oh, Locked. cripes. Okay. There's a storage room. Can I lockpick this one? Yeah, baby. Perfect. Oh, there's a hidden item in here too. See the flashing green circle? Okay, hidden item where? With these chains on your wrist, you can't escape. Yeah, no kidding, but what's the hidden item? Ah, uh, gosh. Alright. Okay. Oh. Oh. Apparently we were missing a wheel there. Don't take a look. Oh, you asshole. Oh! Fuck me. Hi. Hey! Ah, that guy has the... Freaking senses of a Sherlock. Like he saw my tracks in the dirt. Alright, where am I now? Okay. Oh, I have to get that wheel again. Don't get caught by that a hole in the kitchen. Where do they keep their sleeping pills? Does he walk back towards me or does he go around the other way? Scopolamine F. There's no such thing. They've created derivatives of all common medicines. Okay. Well, alright, glad we leveled that up. Ah, there we go. My new friend's sleeping pills.
Wait a minute, 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 he's coming back. I have that fourth wheel. Do I need to give that guy the sleeping pills or can I just blow a hole in the wall? Let's find out. Just need to figure out where this goes. Or maybe the bolt cutters must be what that guy's guarding. Because I think I have to insert the wheel over there on that valve. Right. You know, for a grizzled World War I veteran private eye, I don't see why he couldn't just take him. The two guards at the door, just like rush him. Yeah, but the lady said to not get caught for some reason. I've got what you want. Show me! There. And remember, they don't come for free. Don't you worry, you'll have your diversion. Go on now, go hide yourself. The crows! They're everywhere! Make them go away! Oh. Oh, if this is going to go down the way I think it is, that guard that... I ran into trying to run away from the other guard. Should go check him out. Oh shit. Okay. I saw the white arrow up here. Okay. Now I need a... Okay. A medicine book apparently? No. There's bolt cutters. Isn't there something I'm supposed to get here? Oh, for Pete's sake. Don't they put like a knockout system in some games? We can just get behind them and you get, like Captain Kirk them in the back of the neck and they pass out. Okay. See what we got here. Maintenance room key. Oh, I didn't need bolt cutters, I needed the key. Okay. Now I can blow a hole in that door if I don't get caught by this white arrow guy. Okay. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. Isn't there a lock? Oh my god. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. Well, apparently that's not what we do. I need to find some way to... break the chain. 
Apparently. I see the grate, but I don't know where it goes yet. Oh wait, no, that'll just get me. Let's see where it goes. Maybe it'll take us to the bolt cutters. He's doing the panic attack thing. Oh god. This was a bad idea. I can hear his heart beating in my ears. And it's getting faster. And the fish eye thingy is being worried. Oh! I don't need bolt cutters. I just had to use the vent. Right. Well, now I have bolt cutters. Now to do the do. They should get the guards running. This lever must turn on the gas machine. So turn it on. <coughs> I've got to hide before the guards see me. Well, if you give me back control, I'm gonna try. Is somebody here? <coughs> Okay. Tell me I can get out of here now. Yes. Damn. There's a guard up there. worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy Ooh. with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me or you'll end up the same way. What are you talking about? You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. And the real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. Never mind. How can a doctor give you back your eyes? The one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. Oh, I'm on a timer. In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. We should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! Don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it. That's how it finds you. What finds me? Sarah Hawkins' visitor. The Shambler. Sanders, pull yourself together. Shambler. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. Oh! 
God. What the hell? I got it. Oh. Oh, I did not I did not do it. This is insane. What killed him? Well, right now what's important is that we get away <coughs> from it. <coughs> Well, not that door. I think that gas is messing with my psyche. Damn! <coughs> the gas! Oh, my head. Oh, hey, Peter, Bradley. We need to move on. Pierce woke up in an, in an asylum installed in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. He met Dr. Colden, a female friend of Bradley, who helped him to escape. Wandering through the corridors of this place where Dr. Fuller reigned supreme, Pierce was able to talk to a man called Francis Sanders before dying in full view of the detective. He accused Sarah Hawkins of being the cause of his torments. Pierce finally left the accursed building, accompanied by Bradley and Colden. The companions in misfortune decided to use the Hawkins Mansion as a hideout. All right, well, that'll do it for this episode of The Day Factor. And we'll see what happens in the Hawkins Mansion next time. If you guys like this video, hit the like button. And if you have a comment, leave a comment. Uh, if you want to see more, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.